Hello and welcome to yet another Minecraft mod review and today I will be reviewing the uh, tinted lamps mod and this basically adds 16 new redstone lamps to the game which by the title says are all tinted different colours depending on which dye you make it out of so I'll be showing you how to first install it and then review the mod for you so first I'm going to show you how to install the mod and to do that we need to download the right stuff the this mod's basically a forge or mod load depending on what version of the mod you download but I'll be uh, showing you how to install it with forge and the first thing you need is forge itself from this link files.microforge.net at the top it says promotions and then recommended that's what the one you want because the latest one's always buggy recommended is usually the least buggy one out of all the versions and then you click universal or the start next to universal and then the next thing you'll need is the actual mod itself from this link here uh, I'll put that in the description for you to go to and if you scroll down it says a current release and there's a mod loader or forge version and as I said I'll be showing you how to install it for forge so I'll click the forge version that will download it for you so what you should have downloaded now is microforge universal and the mod itself so we can now install it into minecraft as always we need to download a clean version of minecraft and to do that you come to the minecraft launcher and before you log in go to options and check force update so it should say will force and that means it will force update and re-download the minecraft uh, setup and now we're going to install the mod which is pretty simple first we need to find the minecraft files by going to start and type in percent app data percent click the folder called roaming and then in this folder roaming there should be a folder called dot minecraft open that inside there should be a folder called a bin open that and then we find a file called minecraft.jar open that with winrar or 7zip i'll be using winrar and now we need to go to where we downloaded our files and first find microforge and then uh, right click and open with winrar also and then inside microforge.jar we need to delete the folder called metainf and then drag over all the files from microforge by uh, into microforge.jar by clicking one file and pressing ctrl a to select all drag those over and just wait for it and also you might notice there's a folder called metainf in the forge stuff that's perfectly fine that needs to be there it's just the metainf that originally existed needs to be deleted before you install forge so you just wait for that to do its winrar thing and then when this pops up click ok so that's forge installed and we can close both of these and then we need to go back one step to dot minecraft and we need to create a folder called mods or underscore or underscore or lowercase even uh, double click that and then with the mod usually you'd copy and paste the dot zip into here but because the mod's being packaged in a weird way you need to open the actual uh, dot zip with an archiver or whatever you can just open it normally if you want to and then there's a folder inside called tinted lamps version 1.1 blah 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 you drag that into uh, the mods folder so that's basically mod installed ready for me to review for your benefit Alright, so I'm going to review this mod now, and what the mod does is add 16 different new glowstone lamps to the game. So you can see they're all here, and I'm going to show you how to craft them. Not every single individual one, but this is the pattern you use. You have one redstone lamp. I said glowstone lamp, didn't I? I meant redstone lamp. Anyway, you have one redstone lamp in the middle to make uh, any colour you want, and then you get one of the 16 dyes in the game, so that's from bone meal to ink sacks, lapis lazuli, etc. You take any one of those, and you surround it like this, so middle bottom either side of the redstone lamp and then top bot top middle you get a black redstone lamp obviously because I made it from ink sacks but if I used rose red I'd obviously get a red one etc etc so magenta I'd get a magenta redstone lamp so once you've crafted them all or crafted whichever ones you want you put them down they work just exactly the same as redstone lamps so they need like a redstone source or a button or something and we'll just see how they work so make it night time my fancy control blocks command block stuff even turn these on and as you can see they do light up and work exactly the same as a normal redstone lamp see but as you can see if I turn this off the colours are much lighter when they turn on as a normal redstone lamp does but what I would love to see is if they illuminated the area around it in the colour they were so the black one but I'll probably just forget about that but I mean like with this one here this purple one if the area around it was illuminated as purple and then there's like cross colours it's like a red and green makes purple yeah red and green light across the over and it makes it purple light that would be pretty sick but that would be quite hard to do I'm guessing but yeah so that was the uh, redstone the uh, tinted lamps with the tinted lamps mod thank you thank you for watching
and listening and enjoying and yeah I recommend downloading this mod if you want colourful redstone lamps uh, and if you did like this video please like it if you've got any more questions about the mod or anything else put them in the comment section and please subscribe as that supports me a lot very very much and you don't have to but if you want or you want to support me you can and micro mod reviews has become a show so if you only want updates and micro mod reviews subscribe to the show as opposed to my whole channel so you only get updates for that instead of every video I make in your uh, active feed box thingy YouTube yeah well yeah hopefully see you guys next video bye yeah